What's up everybody and welcome to a new vlog. Today I am officially nine months pregnant. Hello 36 weeks. This is nuts. This is nuts. I feel huge. It is uncomfortable. Um, I have started to have to wear a brace when I walk around, but um, other than that, I am feeling pretty good comparative to the vlog you're about to see. This was, uh, this vlog was probably the roughest week of my pregnancy. This was right after David left on tour, so this vlog is like mommy and Asher time pretty much because, um, you know, David's not here, but I feel like as soon as he left, um, shit kind of hit the fan a little bit for me because I got a gnarly stomach virus. It could be related or not, but I mean, before he left, there was one person in their crew that was sick. Who knows if that's where I got it, but um, it was sort of similar. It hit me really hard. I think maybe because I'm pregnant, it hit me hard, but I was really miserable for a long time. Um, and I'll get to that point in the vlog when I get there. It's hard for me because like, I wanna document my pregnancy journey and I wanna be transparent and honest. I don't wanna portray it as this like easy thing that's beautiful because it's really tough. And this was, I honestly almost ended up in the hospital. It was really bad. So um, I made it through, I'm okay now. Uh, a lot of concerns from my doctor. I ended up losing weight, which is not what you want when you have a baby that's measuring small, but we'll get into all of that uh, in this vlog. Before I got sick though, I had some really cute memories with Asher that I want to share. Just uh, library story times, music class, little events that happened in our city. There was like a little safety day where there were police officers and firemen and police cars and fire trucks and all these fun things that Asher loves and we went and did that. So I'm gonna show all this cute footage that leads up to my follow-up ultrasound. If you guys don't remember, I had some issues um, that I shared in a previous vlog of, of baby girl measuring really small and that being super concerning and freaking me out. Another follow-up ultrasound had to be scheduled, so that will be shown, and then I'll chime back in after that to explain it. Enjoy. <laughs> Baby. All right, we just finished our library story time today. Got my baby in there, and I got my baby in there. We're doing our free banana and free cookie. Oh, that is nice. And we're getting some groceries. Okay, I know why that. Yes, is that a good cookie? And most exciting of all, we got a pumpkin. Mm. Can you say, don't tase me, bro? Tase me, bro. <laughs> So today our local little community is doing a fun thing where they have fire trucks and police cars and firemen and policemen out at the park and they let kids play with all their stuff. And it's kind of funny because just so happens that today he's wearing this outfit that sort of looks like, sort of looks like you busted out of jail, dude. All right, ready to go see fire trucks? Fire trucks. Ready, set, go? Let's set, go. Okay. Yeah, look at the big, big fire truck, baby. So cool. Yeah, you want to go inside? That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. We had to wake up from nap time to come out here. I think he's still half asleep. But is that cool, baby? So cool. Uh-oh. Getting arrested, dude. Jump, baby! Boom! Mommy. Yeah, baby! Mommy's too big! He made a friend! How cute! Come on! Big slide! Whoa!
job, Bubba? Wow, that's so cool in there! Yeah! Uh-oh. Asher! What'd you do to end up in the back of a police car, baby? Oh, man. My son in trouble again. <laughs> Sir! You are under arrest for being cute. It's the button. the button. This one, this one right here. Oh, this one? This one, yeah. <gasps> cool! Go. Good job! Good job. Today is going to be really fun. Bud, are you ready for scary stories? <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. So they're doing like a little spooky stories and music time today. And... It's gonna be lots of fun. This is cute. Excuse me. Asher, can I buy a strawberry? Here, I'll give you $50 for one strawberry. It's a good deal, bud. $50. Oh, good deal. Thank you. By the way, it's bizarre looking at my fake wedding ring. <laughs> My hands were too swollen to wear the real thing, so now I got this imposter and it just, it's giant. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, happy Halloween. What the cat say? Yeah, happy Halloween. Hey, happy Halloween. Oh, scary ghost. You scared mommy. Don't scare me again. Uh oh. <gasps> Boo! Ah! <laughs> you got me. Boo! Ah! <laughs> Boo, mommy. Ah! This is scary. Boo, Tippy. Oh, oh, don't scare Tippy. Watch this. Okay, I'm watching. Oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Boo! Ah! <laughs> Whoa. That was crazy. That was crazy. Hey, Asher. Asher. What is this? Me nana. Me nana. Me nana. Good job, baby. You're so cute. Jumping up so high. You didn't know I could jump so high. Jumping up so high. Jumping, jumping, jumping. When I am tired. Shake your leg. I like to nod my head. I like to walk into a party. Thank you. Well, our Halloween music class was fun this morning. Mommy got some good pictures of you. And right by it was a little farmer's market. We got some raisin cinnamon shortbread and a Halloween monster cookie. Oh, and the lady told us there's an Oreo in the middle. Excited? Yeah. Good. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Thank you, baby. We just got back home from brunch, super good. Um, and it's just such a beautiful day outside today. Nala, <laughs> I have to show you this. Look at this pretty girl. We're gonna go out and play with her, but look at this outfit. <laughs> Nala has a pumpkin and Asher has a pumpkin. All right, buddy. We've got him holding the pumpkin that we're gonna use as a prop for pictures. Nala's all dressed up and ready to go. Good girl. She caught it! Good job, Nala. Oh, she's peeing, okay. <laughs>
Oh, buddy. Well, okay, and we're around a tree. <laughs> so today is my second follow-up ultrasound um definitely a little uneasy hoping for the best asher is at home we had our babysitter come by gosh i look so tired i had to pick an early appointment time because this was the only time they had available you have to book the ultrasound and then you have to book your doctor appointment right after and i have like an hour gap in between and because david's not here um I'm not allowed to bring Asher because you're only allowed to bring a child if there's an adult present us other than you to watch the child. Um, so I don't have that. So I had to like wait, schedule this at a time that worked for the ultrasound place, the doctor's place and my babysitter. She's so sweet. She came early today, like an hour earlier than normal, which was already early um, to be able to, to do this so that I could make this appointment. Um, otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. It's very weird being on your own with a toddler and then having to go to all these doctor's appointments. It's just like a lot of overwhelming stuff. And I'm late, so I should really go. I just pulled into my parking spot um, and I should be rushing instead of vlogging. So let's just get to the rushing part. <laughs> also, it's a nice distraction because I am obviously a little nervous. Today's appointment went well. I'm feeling pretty huge. Oh my goodness, almost eight months. But the ultrasound went well. I got to see her cute little profile and they even got a little video of her drinking some amniotic fluid, which was incredible. I think that was actually my favorite, but the 4D image they got was really cool too. She was sort of hiding behind the placenta a little bit so you couldn't see her, but like her face was peeking around the corner. Hopefully she moves in a few weeks because we're gonna do the 4D ultrasound. Um, that's like the whole session is 4D and they get really good pictures and videos. So I'm looking forward to that, but hopefully she's not just like face smushed up against the placenta, you know? Also, of course, they did all the necessary videos and stuff of her heart and everything, which is all looking really great. Um, as far as the like growth restriction, she is 17%, which is, better than obviously the 9%, um, but it's down because my last appointment, she was 21 and now it's back down to 17. So, you know, it's, it's okay. It's still all within the normal range. I'm trying to like not be panicky about it anymore now that I know that it's not like going downhill rapidly and it's not any of the things that they scared me with, like a, a virus or some kind of infection or a chromosomal issue. Um, so I, I'm, I'm pretty relieved. I think things are going well. I think she's just genetically small. I think she's got small genetics and even though I don't feel small, she's just a, a small girl. They said that her arms and legs were, were tiny, but her trunk and midsection were pretty big. They said if they just looked at the trunk and they're her midsection, she would have been 33rd percentile. But because her arms and legs are short, it brings her average, I guess, down to 17, which is interesting. Um, they said nothing like abnormally short, but that she's just tiny, but that that could completely change in like a few weeks to birth to a year old. Who knows? Some of my panic has subsided with that at least. I was feeling mostly optimistic after this appointment. Um, you know, going down from the 21st to 17th was a little disheartening for me because I wanted to just see the growth increase. Um, but at least I wasn't still in that like zone of panic where they would have labeled me high risk again. So that was all well and good until I got a stomach virus, um, which really knocked me out. I, I didn't film a lot of it at first. At first I thought maybe I was just overwhelmed with everything I had going on, feeling behind with work, feeling pulled in a million different directions and sort of not sure how to cope with all of it. I thought maybe I was just sick to my stomach because of that. And I didn't realize that I literally had a serious stomach virus. So um, <laughs> when I initially vlogged, I thought I was just doing another one of my stupid, like I'm pregnant and hormonal and emotional and it's making me cry vlogs, but it actually turned out to be something uh, pretty serious. I have not thrown up this entire pregnancy. Not once, except for right now. I am for the first time sick and puking and like emotional. I don't know what's going on. I'm feeling very alone and stressed and overwhelmed. And I think it like got to me. And like my body waited for Asher to go to sleep and take a nap before it just like let go. And now I'm like upset and 
sick. It hurts to walk. It hurts to exist. <laughs> if I sneeze, my whole body like contracts and it's the most painful thing. Like, I hate this. And I feel like I'm like alone on an island going through it. Just not having a good day. So after this, it just skips to a few days later. I, I couldn't, I couldn't record. I couldn't film. I couldn't like, oh, I'm not going to pick up the phone and vlog. I woke up in the middle of the night and I threw up and I could not stop throwing up. It was every hour, every hour I got no sleep. Um, if I even took the smallest sip of water, it would come back out. It was just not staying and nothing was staying in. Um, and I called my OB and she basically said, I'm going to give you an anti-nausea medication. If it doesn't work within this time frame, she gave me a pretty narrow time frame. Um, if it doesn't work, you have to go to the ER, but go to the OB unit because they need to be able to monitor the baby. Now I'm getting freaked out, right? Because I'm getting told I have to go to the hospital. But her concern was dehydration. You know, if you can't keep any fluids down, um, that is not safe for the baby. So I was panicking and... I did what I was told. I took my anti-nausea medication, which thank you to my dad and stepmom. I don't know what I would have, like I had to emergency call a lot of people. First of all, I um, got a hold of our babysitter who was not scheduled to come that day, but did show up anyway to help me with Asher because I couldn't, I couldn't take care of him. Like I, I, I couldn't get out of, I couldn't move. Um, I was like glued to the toilet. It was really horrible. Um, so she came by and she was able to watch him. She brought me Pedialyte, very, very sweet. Um, I also emergency called very early in the morning, my dad and stepmom. They were actually on their way driving to another state because they were gonna do something that day and they dropped everything, turned around, went back home and then drove here. It took them five hours probably between everything that they had been doing to get here. And they just immediately said, we're on our way. They picked up my medicine for me cause I couldn't have gone and driven to get it. Um, and I took the medicine and that was a lifesaver. I just took one dose and I was able to keep down a little bit of water, but that is what I needed to avoid going to the ER. It was really, really bad. It was so bad. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but when you're puking and you're really pregnant, it just, you don't have the muscles, you don't have the strength. You're already tired and I had Asher and I was panicking because like in the middle of the night, I was completely alone. And I was like, what am I going to do? Like, thank God my dad answered the phone, was able to drop everything and just like show up here. I know how inconvenient it was for the two of them to do that. And it just, it was like amazing. It was just amazing. While they were here, my dad also assembled like a bunch of stuff uh, for the nursery and moved around the crib. Like it was just like two little angels show up to my house and save the day. It was just very nice to feel like I had just that support so quickly. It was Anyway, so I'm gonna show clips from uh, that. <laughs> okay, so this is the first time in the last like 36 hours I've been able to like lift my phone. It's been really scary. I don't know what happened. My best guess is I got a stomach virus. Um, poor baby. <laughs> Every sip of water, anything I tried to drink came up immediately, um, which sucked because I felt thirsty, but I couldn't drink anything or keep it down and it was like bile and really gross and like uncontrollable like there's a few times I almost didn't make it to the toilet so sorry, sorry if it's TMI also TMI when you're eight months pregnant um and literally if I sneeze or cough um sometimes it's hard to not pee <laughs> so when you're puking and like retching you just pee so I was like a mess. So I try to shower in the middle of the night and like, I was, ugh. Um, as soon as my doctor's office opened in the morning, I was already up throwing up anyway. So I sat there until it hit the time they were open and I called. Um, they were concerned, but said there is like a stomach virus thing going around right now. Um, that would not affect the baby. The only concern for the baby was dehydration. They prescribed an anti-nausea medicine with the hopes that that would allow me to keep down liquids. Unfortunately, it took them forever to fill it and get it to the pharmacy. So, you know, that was what, like 8.30 in the morning. I had to wait until 3 p.m. for that medicine to be in my body. I actually started, a, my fever started shortly after my doctor's office call. 
and I was like achy and I still feel it at least you know now it's been a day and a half of this um the medicine actually did do what it was supposed to do and prevented me from throwing up so I've been able to drink liquids I haven't eaten I had a banana that's it but I haven't really eaten I'm scared too it doesn't sound good they're about to take him to the park to get him out of the house for a little bit and I think I'm going to attempt a shower um but this has been hell and scary and I'm surprised I didn't end up in the hospital. I was about to go. I like, if that medicine didn't work like they said that they were hoping for it to and allow me to keep down liquids, I would have been in the hospital probably in a couple of hours after. So I'm thankful for that because that would have been uncomfortable and just for IV fluids, you know? So, and expensive, I mean, it's so expensive. Anyway. I'm gonna go uh, shower, I think, and uh, yeah. Asher will have fun at the park with his papa and Kiki. So here's some footage of my dad taking apart the crib. It was actually really difficult to get all this taken apart because we had to fit it through the door to move it over into this room, which was just a guest room until now. It will be the new nursery. We gotta get rid of this bed, move a bunch of stuff around, but I'm excited to get the crib set up in here because I think it's gonna look super cute. And then she will have her nursery started. Gotta paint it pink though, excited to do that. Oh, no. Hi, Asher. Hi. Whoa, you think you're silly. Silly. Hold this piece here together. Okay. Oh my gosh, I just woke up from a nap and look what dad's already done. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. This is a cute little this bed. Awesome. It is. It's amazing. Asher, are you excited, baby? Excited. Excited? This is your new bed. It's all for you, baby. <laughs> Hi, okay, sweetheart. Now there's <laughs> legs all into the <laughs> 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 Like all into where the diapers are. <laughs> so he was saying, this is Asher's bed. No, she had to tell him Asher's getting a new bed, which is in here. It doesn't tell you exactly where to put it, it just kind of shows like one on kind of each end and one in the middle. And Hi, baby. the rest of these are... So update, oh, I look so terrible. Um, I've been sleeping all day. I have just been wiped out, but I did keep down some chicken noodle soup, so that's good. I feel like I've been hit by a bus, but... I am so much better than where I was, and I know I'm like on the other side of it now. Now Asher's gonna take a nap. Yeah, in your bed, in your old bed. <laughs> he said he wanted in his bed, so. <laughs> what? Oh, are you a doggy? What? There's a doggy in the bed. He's probably a little confused. Yes, He's like, why does my stuff get moved around? Oh. He's sleeping. Is Asher asleep? Hi, baby. There's a doggy. I love you, sweetheart. Whoa, crazy. You are crazy. Oh, man. So, this is Asher's room now. He's got a big boy bed. We took the crib out and replaced it with this. Dad just built this for me. It looks pretty cute in here. And then right over here is going to be the nursery. Um, still have to paint and decorate, but this is sort of what it's gonna look like. Rocking chair is gonna go over there. I have some stuff to put up on the walls and then there's the crib. I think I'll put like her name up there with the big butterfly and some cute stuff, but it's coming together. They stayed here a while and they eventually had to take off and then I ended up getting sick one more time. I think just cause I, I got too excited to eat food and I did it too quickly. But then that night Asher got sick too and he threw up and I just, oh, that was the worst. Fortunately, I will say the good news is that it was only once. He only threw up one time. He was perfectly fine. Nothing else bad with that. Um, but it did have me panicking cause I thought, oh my God, what if he goes through the same thing I just went through? But you know, went to the doctor, the doctor, pediatrician said, you know, kids, this stomach virus has been going around and kids 
recover very fast. Adults, definitely not so much, especially ones that are pregnant. I'm like, hey, uh, yeah, I know. But I was very emotional finding out Asher was sick too. I felt guilty, you know, cause he got it from me. What a nightmare. What a nightmare that entire week was. I just got off the phone with the like middle, it's three o'clock in the morning right now. I just got off the phone with the night nurse and they said, give him Gatorade or Pedialyte and then go to the doctor's office in the morning if he's still sick. He won't drink that. He know, he doesn't, he only drinks water. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait, see how he's doing. And then if, if he needs the same like, or some sort of kid version of anti-nausea medication like I did, that's what we'll do. This sucks so hard. I'm so mad at myself. I'm not even like full strength yet. I feel like I've been hit by a bus, like I have a headache and I don't feel good. And like, I'm so worried about Asher now. I gave him the worst sickness ever. This one. Okay. Look, we're gonna look in this teddy bear's ears. Dude. Okay, Asher's turn. Dude, dude, and your eyes, dude, dude, and your mouth go off, dude. Good job, baby. So when the doctor comes in, it's not scary, okay? Not scary. No, it's okay. Uh -huh. All right. So, oh, your little cough. So I tried my best to prep him for the doctor. Actually, we've been doing everything on the teddy bear first, and then on him, and that actually went over really well but they're gonna have to clean out his ears, so that's not gonna be good. Is that a trash can? It's a trash can, baby, don't touch that. He is such a trooper. You did such a good job, baby. Oh no, I fixed it. You gotta fix it. They gave him a little Lego toy dock. They're so nice at this, at this doctor's office. We've already built it and taken it apart a few times. We decided to sit here and just kind of play for a second because he had to get his ears washed out and that was like sort of traumatizing. So uh, we're just taking a breather. We're gonna calm down. The good news, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that, just look at his beautiful face. Look at him, he's already smiling and happy and playing. <laughs> How did I get so lucky to have the best child in the world? You're so cute, oh my God. Um, but the good news is that, good job. good job. The viral infection going around that I have um, had, I think I'm through it, um, is, something that uh, they've seen a lot of kids come through here with, but it doesn't hit kids very hard. Um, it actually doesn't hit adults quite as hard as it normally hit me, but they think because I'm pregnant that you're immunocompromised when you're pregnant. Um, and they think because of that, it hit me like even worse than the worst case scenario. So that's why I was so um, out of it for a few days. But they said kids normally they'll throw up one or two times and then they're through it. Um, so that's the good news which means he might be through it already, which I would just, I'm so thankful um, if that's the case. The bad news is that he has an ear infection. <laughs> you have an ear infection, baby. Yes, you do. He's had this problem ever since he was a baby of just building up a lot of ear, a lot of earwax. And even though I put in drops that are supposed to like help with that, like loosen earwax and make it come out, he still just produces a lot of it and it, it causes ear infections. And, any type of viral infection. Uh oh, you dropped, I got it. Any type of viral infection, um, like the stomach virus, increases possibility for that to cause problems because he's been congested and stuff too. So they think that all that combination sort of led to this. So it's good we came in because you know, virus, you, you go to the doctor and they tell you, virus, well, drink water, good luck. There's nothing you can do, but I am glad that I came because now you have to take, I'm sorry, but you have to take antibiotics now for 10 days. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that. <laughs> it seems like he almost understood me. Um, so to take care of that ear infection. I'm so sorry, baby. I love you. Love you. You did so good. You were such a big boy. Good boy. You want to go home and see Nala? No. Yeah, like I said, total nightmare. But once we got through it, I was so damn relieved. Um, you know, we started feeling better. We, we took it easy for a while. Like really, we just, it, I felt like I was, my body was so weak. I could not, I did my best to get through 
uh, but I moved very slowly. That was, like I said, the worst phase of my pregnancy was, was that. That was the worst week. Never would I wish that on anybody. Once I started feeling better, it was like a huge relief. There was like a cute little thing again going on in our little area that we live in. It was like a little Halloween thing where all the businesses had little tents and they allowed the kids to come in and like sort of trick or treat at each business's tent, which was cool because I was trying to teach Asher like how to trick or treat and how to say it and you get candy and he got really very excited about it. So it was a nice refreshing day out with him, finally feeling better and doing something cute and fun. And then after that, there's just a bunch of cute clips on my phone that I want to remember. So enjoy. It's a few days now since our sickness has sort of ended and there's a cute little event going on in our city for Halloween. We decided to try to, you know, well, I put some makeup on and we got ready and we're going to try to go outside for a few hours, see how it goes. It's a cute day. A lot of little people in costumes. Really cute. Whoa, dinosaur. He already got some chocolate. It's some early trick-or-treating. Everybody's in line and then at every one of these little pavilions, you get a, a little trick-or-treat. You get candy and some goodies and some stuff to do arts and crafts with. It's so cool. <laughs> so glad you're feeling better, bud. You having fun? Okay. I love how he puts teas at the end of things. I'm having fun. Trick or treat! Thank you! <laughs> Put it in your bag. Good job! Is it scary? Can you touch it? We just got so much candy. They're doing like a little costume contest for kids. Oh yeah, we'll get down. You want to go over here and play, don't you? Let's go play. A two-time national champion? And you're that bashful? So many of these booths. We went to every single one. Probably over 30 of them. And he said trick or treat at every single one. He got candy and he said thank you. We even got a couple happy Halloweens. Can you say happy Halloween? Oh, I love you. Right now we are in line for the haunting. It's a haunted house. I asked the guy at the front, he said it's not scary. It's very kid friendly, so. Scary house? Scary house. Ah! <laughs> oh man, it's Asher's turn. Right there, the yeah, are you excited? Yeah. Whoa. He was having some big feelings and didn't want to sit in his own chair to eat. So this is our current setup. We're both sharing the same tray. My belly fits perfectly in the middle. And now you're eating pasta, is it good? And we're watching Hocus Pocus. Ooh. What, honey bunch? Take a picture. You want me to take a picture of you and Nala? Picture of Nala. Okay, smile. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, now you want to see it? Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> what? Take a picture. Okay, smile. You got some Oreos in your mouth this time, bud. I don't know about those. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> my beautiful. Oh my god. My little cookie face. Oh, you want to see the pictures? Okay. No 
thank you. Weird. What do you think, dude? Crazy, huh? Okay, ready? Set. Go get it. Oh, good catch. Say Nala. Nala. Where are you? Daddy. Say Nala, where are you? Nala, where are you? Where are you? Uh, is she here? Is no. She, uh, no. No, where are you? No. No, where are you? Where are you? Say Nala. It's right here. Asher. Where are you? Where are you? Are you in here? Ah! <laughs> Found you. No, close the door. Close the door. Do it again. This is, we've been doing this for. Close the door. Never. No, close the door. Okay. Please walk. Please look. Mommy, walk. Please walk. Please. Oh, walk around. Okay. Close the door. Yes. No, close the door. Okay. Are you over here? No. Are you in here? Close the door. Okay. Close the door. The place. Close the door. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Is Asher over here? Hmm. No. Hmm. Hmm, is Asher over here? Hmm, no. Asher. Hmm, are you in here? I can hear you in there laughing. Close your door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you. Love you. Okay. What, baby? A turtle. You're a turtle? <laughs> okay. All right, honey bunches. You're cute. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye, turtle. Bye-bye, turtle. I love you, turtle. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard a rocket ship, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Just for fun, we decided to go get breakfast together. Just the two of us. He was really getting impatient for his pancakes. We got pancakes, eggies, good stuff. Pancakes. Mmm, is this so good? Mmm. Do you like it? Like it. <laughs> okay, good, baby. Okay, close your eyes, close my eyes. Oh, eyes. close my eyes, okay.
We just just a red 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 red. We just just a red 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 red. We go do 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 do. You love Tippy. Love Tippy. Tippy da. Tippy da. Watch out for the baby. Careful, bud. Mommy Jungle Jim. Where's Asher? Oh, I found you! What are you doing under there? I gotta get the mattress under there so you can't get stuck anymore. I'm stuck. Yeah, you're stuck, baby. So silly. Thank you. Check the tree. Give me your bucket. <laughs> Say trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> Open it? Okay, is that enough finally? Yeah, okay. <laughs> One, two, three! Twist and shop. Do Alright guys, that's the vlog. I'm going to pick back up with this uh, because after this last clip, David came home for Halloween. I did the Halloween vlog. I posted that. It was good having him here for a few days. Um, and then he left again for the second part of his tour. And there's one more week left of his tour as of right now. I am nine months pregnant. He better hurry up and get back home. But I really have been cherishing this just mommy Asher time because I know it's it's going to change. Things are going to change. It's not going to go away but it's gonna look different, you know? It's not gonna be just the two of us anymore. There's another little baby showing up and that's gonna shift our dynamic a lot. So uh, <laughs> being sick was not fun. That was very, very hard um, and scary. But, you know, the moments around it in between, my takeaway is positivity from all of it and, and beautiful memories with my little guy that I love so, so much. I hope he knows, I hope he grows up and he knows how much I love him. I can't look at him sometimes without crying. He's just the most precious, beautiful thing I've ever seen. And um, I'm excited, I'm excited for the new baby. I'm also terrified. I'm so, so, so overwhelmingly concerned with how he's going to feel with all of it. I know he's gonna be the best big brother ever, but it's just so important to me for him to feel prioritized and, and loved just as much as he ever has been. Um, and that these memories that we've like made, Oh, with it just being the two of us, that they're not gone, you know? It's just gonna look different because he means everything and I want him to always know that. So, um, excited for what's to come, nervous, very happy. Uh, my next video is gonna be just catching up because, you know, David was here and we did we did our ultrasound and maternity photo shoot, but I might save that video until we actually get the, the maternity photos back. I'm very excited to see how they look. 
Um, and then all of my, my mommy Asher time since David has been gone again on tour. And then once he's back, it's gonna be a whirlwind. Thanksgiving is coming up, very exciting. So please subscribe to my vlog channel if you haven't already. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I, I appreciate it. This has been a roller coaster, difficult, but overall very beautiful memories of mine that I will cherish forever. So yeah, thanks for being here. If you want, you can support me over on Patreon and uh, like this video if you can, and I'll see you in the next one. Right. Bye.